Hello, everyone. Um, I was interested myself in uh, these academic writing platforms um, for a very selfish reason, because I was um, looking for a, a way to, to uh, write my master's thesis. Um, and of course, thinking that, oh, Microsoft Word is not the right thing because I believe in open source. And uh, in general, um, I, I don't really like how Microsoft Word is doing the, the layouting. But then there's LibreOffice, which is inferior, I would say, in how it handles um, documents. And, and it's it feels very unstable. And I'm not really ready yet for such a big um, project, such a thesis or a research project. So I was I went out looking and um, the, the three um, opponents or well, proponents, whatever, um, I, was, um, I was able to find is, there we go. The first one is Authoria, um, which says it's a collaborative word processor for researchers and technical writers. So um, they, they, and they say we enable open science. So they seem to have very strong principles, um, and that's what also what I what I have experienced when chatting and, and writing with them on on the forums and support. Um, very strong principles towards open science, um, yet very technically oriented in terms of um, the the research strands. So I, I, I'm not sure if this is the, the best for humanities and social science. Then there is Share LaTeX, which is an online collaborative LaTeX editor in your browser. Write LaTeX with others and see the changes in real time. Um, it seems to be, it, it's older than Authoria. So this is one from 2011. Authoria was created one um, half year later. Um, so, what I what I can see, I haven't really used Shell LaTeX myself because I honestly I don't really like LaTeX. Um, it looks far too um, too ugly to write in. I mean, it's it's very precise, I know, and it's very powerful. Yet I believe that there's something in between between LaTeX and Microsoft Word and um, this um, what you see is what you get editing, which is Markdown. That's really my preferred um, language to write in. And so f therefore, there was no real reason for me to use share LaTeX, um, given its strong emphasis on just LaTeX. Um, but it, seem, it, it seems to be um, very strong on um, the history part. So you have a revision um, and you can have this live collaboration aspect Plus, I think it's it allows you to to work offline um, on a free plan, um, which is not possible. For example, uh, in Authoria, it's it, well, sort of you can work offline if you if you sync it with a Git account with your, for example, personal Git repository, and then you can um, fetch it from Git. But that's very technical. Um, it, experienced users will know anyway what I'm talking about here. Um, so let's go to the last one um, that I identified for myself, which is Overleaf. And um, so in contrast to, to um, share LaTeX, uh, Overleaf is not only focused on this strong um, LaTeX emphasis, but they rather say, create, edit, and publish your research all from your browser. So again, we're really much browser focused. Our real-time collaborative, okay, now it comes, LaTeX editor, automatically produces and displays your types of document. Um, similar to Authoria, um, Overleaf was created one year later. Um, so Share LaTeX is the oldest one of these three. Um, but what's interesting about Overleaf, um, it has created the biggest um, sort of um, reach. So they have 21,000 followers on Twitter whereas Overleaf just has 2,500 and Authoria just 1,800 followers. So um, just looking at that metric, 
um, it seems that Overleaf is the most popular um, writing environment for academics. And um, so I, I can really only share a lot of personal experience with Authoria and Overleaf. For Authoria, I would say um, what, what is nice is that they try um, to offer you Markdown. So um, in, in, in just uh, in contrast to just LaTeX. Um, so if you create a new one, um, they ask you, um, so here what you can do is you can select um, BibTag, HTML, LaTeX, and Markdown. I'm not sure about the HTML um, option because it doesn't really show me anything. Uh, whereas Markdown then would support some basic Markdown, but it doesn't go so far to support, for example, Pandoc properly or um, R Markdown. So it's just really basic Markdown. It, in the sense that I would say Alpharia is still just good for LaTeX. So in that sense, um, where's the added benefit from when looking at Overleaf, which is also a LaTeX editor? Um, well, the one thing that I really like in Alpharia is the commenting feature, which is very similar to Google Docs. So you can just select text and then create your comment. Uh, whereas in Overleaf, um, if you look at a project, um, it looks very technically. So if, if you look at a document, um, they have a basic support for rich text like this. Um, so you can switch between source and rich. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's very basic yet. And of course, you have no markdown support now for now. So you really just need to know how to use LaTeX. Um, and there's some, some limitations if you're on a free account, like um, you cannot save it to your Dropbox, uh, of course you can. And, and projects are always public, um, but that's of course the, the very good point and strong point if, you, if you're if you a supporter of um, open science. So um, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm still, <laughs> why am I creating that video? I'm still confused um, which one really to support because I very like um, the strong principle idea of open science um, behind Authoria and I, I really want to support the efforts. Um, yet, when it comes to the LaTeX component, um, Overleaf just seems to have a much better implementation of that. And the Markdown um, component of all three is just very inferior still. So what I'm still missing is a very strong academic writing environment for Markdown, and especially R Markdown. So if you know one, then just please let me know, share your insights in the comments and um, let's have a discussion. Thank you guys.